What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to generate images using Ideogram AI for free. To get started, head to ideogram.ai and log in with your Google or Apple account. This should only take a couple of seconds to complete. And then you can set a new username for your Ideogram account. When this is done, you'll access this explore page where you can start entering prompts to generate images. Or preview existing generated images by the community. Click on one of the images to see which prompt, model, resolution and seed they used. This is especially helpful if you're trying to create a similar image. Next, we'll go over your options when generating images. Enter your prompt and you'll notice some additional options on the right hand side. Enable or disable magic prompt, which will try to enhance your existing prompt by adding more relevant information or even translating your prompt to English if you're using another language. Below, change the aspect ratio. Click on this arrow icon for more aspect ratio options. 9 by 16 or the 1 by 1 square option seems to be the most popular. Then, change the visibility from public to private if you don't want your generated image to show up in the community, to followers or on the homepage. Click on this icon to see even more options to play around with. Change the model where 1.0 is the latest model at the moment. Rendering, seed or negative prompt. But these additional options seem to be only available to paying users. Click generate when you're done tweaking these settings. And it will take a couple of seconds to generate 4 images based on your preferences. You can save each of them by clicking on the heart icon. Click on the burger menu icon next to the heart for more options. Remix the image by using it as the base for future image creations. Use the upscale feature for paid accounts. Copy your original prompt. Describe the image. Download or pin it. You'll be able to download it in PNG or JPEG format. Your pinned images will show up on your public profile, which allows you and other users to see which images you like and save. The free plan allows you to use 10 prompts and by clicking on upgrade plan, you can preview the monthly and yearly prices for their subscription plans. When clicking on the three line menu icon on the top right, you can switch it from light to dark mode, delete your account or manage muted users. After familiarizing yourself with this platform, you might come across users you'd like to follow. Click on a username and see what they have been publishing. You can follow the user, mute or report the creator. If you want to create similar images to those you are seeing, then click on the three dot menu icon for that particular image and select remix. A new menu window will open up, where you can adjust the image weight, which is by how much you want to use the existing image as a reference. Adjust the original prompt and click on remix to see how it turns out. Paying users can also upscale existing images created by others. Again, wait a couple of seconds before your remixed generated images show up. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.